I'm a local Portland person. I grew up in the Botanical Gardens in Portland. My father was a curator of the Botanical Gardens. I've had a, an active interest in plant things from when I was a young boy. I first became involved with Melblom spider orchid when I was about 13. Um, my brother brought me out here after a, a wildfire that occurred in 1976 and um, it was a recent discovery for that at that stage. It hadn't been seen for quite a number of years prior to that. Quite an outstanding find back then and it was quite exciting for me when I was 13 wandering through thick vegetation after a fire getting all black and charcoal-y and, uh, and, and seeing this wonderful flowering plant that was just standing out. Fire is very important for this species. It opens up the environment. It puts a whole lot of carbon back into the ground. Um, it creates open spaces which are important for a whole range of, uh, of things that this particular orchid requires. After a, a summer fire, this plant will initiate a leaf come March, April. It will flower in October. The orchid mimics a female wasp, and it's a thinine wasp, so it mimics that pheromone and mimics the look of that female wasp so that it tricks the male into thinking that it's a female wasp. So he, he comes down, he lands on the labellum of the orchid. Um, the labellum rocks backwards and forwards. Pollen is deposited on the back of his neck. He gets a bit frustrated, flies away. If we're lucky, that male wasp that's got the pollen on his back of his head will go onto another orchid and then the pollen is transferred onto that orchid. That's how the orchid actually gets to be able to, to do what it does. Pre-European times, Melblom spider orchid would have been utilised um, by traditional people for, for tubers, so they would have been consumed, and the area would have been managed um, via a number of methods, by fire stick methods, uh, so burning it at the time so when traditional people burnt, burnt the landscape, and also by, by wildfire, lightning events, which traditionally happened in the summer period. Fire is an integral part of all orchid species in Victoria. Melbourne spider orchid is one of the more threatened species that we're dealing with. Its numbers got as low that we knew of, as low as six plants since we have come into Australia. And we've lost roughly a species or two every generation. So Europeans have had a significant impact on our environment. So personally I feel that it's important that, that we place a value on them. If we don't place values on them and what the values are for the environment, well, well then we're not doing ourselves justice. <laughs>